Welcome back. Now, the Johannesburg Philharmonic Orchestra is a non-profit organization that is chaired by Dikhang Moseneke and Bongani Dembe as its chief executive and artistic director. It cemented its role for being committed to encouraging the development of talented young musicians in and around the city. The launch took place earlier this month and was held at the Johannesburg Stock Exchange, where new vision for the orchestra as well as a diverse board of directors was announced. Now, to talk more about this, we are joined from our Durban studios by Bongani Dembe, and he is the CEO and Artistic Director of the JPO. A very good morning to you, Bongani, and welcome to the show. Uh, good morning, Pell, and to the listeners. Now, Bongani, for people who are not familiar with uh, the Johannesburg Orchestra, quickly take us through what it is and the background of the course. The Johannesburg Philharmonic Orchestra was formed in 2000 um, by committed musicians after the demise of the National Symphony Orchestra, which was funded by the SABC. And uh, it, it did very well, but over the last few years experienced some financial um, issues. But I'm delighted to announce that all those legacy issues have been sorted out. It's got a revitalized uh, board, um, led by uh, top business people and community leaders, as you've just um, mentioned. And uh, it's looking into the future uh, with confidence. Mangani, tell us about that revitalization. There was a relaunch recently. Uh, tell us what was so important for you to relaunch and, and maybe freshen up the face of the JPO. Well, it was very important to, to relaunch because we've got a new vision. And our vision is based on the um, affirmation of the value and the transformative power of music to inspire and bring all people together of all races and ages, thereby contributing to nation building. Um, we, our programs are underpinned by excellence in the arts, but also a comprehensive community engagement program. Now, coupled with all of that, we also unveiled a new identity or logo of the JPO, which is inspired by the Nelson Mandela Bridge and um, a movement motif. Bangan, it's almost two decades in. What impact would you say uh, the Johannesburg Philharmonic Orchestra has had on uh, the arts in South Africa and how the arts is viewed in the country? It has had a, a positive uh, impact and uh, of course like all other organizations in the country, it, uh, uh, like a lot of them, it over relied on the funding from the Lotto. But again, we are looking forward to relaunching the Johannesburg Philharmonic Orchestra. We actually relaunch it next week at the Linda Auditorium with Olga Ken and Roderick Cox. It's going to be an unbelievable world-class um, concert and you're going to see the Johannesburg Philharmonic Orchestra everywhere in Johannesburg in Soweto in shopping malls in hospitals because we are committed to serving the people where they are and what would you say is at the core of the message that you will be spreading uh, especially with the the concert that will also be taking place this coming week on the 23rd and the 24th Well, the message is that the, the, the Johannesburg Philharmonic Orchestra and the arts in general can be effectively utilized in the country to brand our cities uh, and our provinces positively in the country and around the world. Uh, the second one is that it is important to integrate the arts into the learning experience of our learners and students because of all the positives that comes out of that. P uh, young people learn how to be disciplined, how to listen, and how to collaborate and work uh, among uh, themselves. These are all the qualities that are ingrained if you are um, learning an instrument or pursuing any form of the performing arts. And Bangani, just from your experience, what would you say is the current state of the arts here in South Africa? There are a lot of arts bodies who um, struggle when it comes to things like funding uh, and, and just really uh, cultivating young talent from uh, communities all over the country. So what, in your opinion, is the current state of the arts and what is your greater vision for the arts in South Africa? 
Well, the arts in South Africa are thriving. Um, we do well, particularly in terms of talent. The talent in South Africa is abundant. You can go to any school, to any village, you'll see people singing at the highest level or dancing in all the centers in South Africa. Um, I think what we do, we over-concentrate on the funding. Yes, funding is an issue, but we are not concentrating on the quality of leadership. I think as a country, we do need to spend some time to cultivate and train uh, proper leaders, people who are passionate about the arts and who've got the right skills to lead these organizations. Because you can build an art center, the talent is there, but if you don't have qualified and passionate leaders, then uh, you're going to have a problem. So it's very important that we build the leaders of tomorrow, and it's a process that I would love to be part of. All right, Bongani Tembe, thank you very much for your time this morning. Uh, Bongani Tembe is, of course, the Johannesburg Philharmonic Orchestra CEO and Artistic Director. And he was talking to us about their relaunch and how they've improved and managed to keep their voices ablaze over the years.